All right, so let me uh, fill me in on the day. All right, so let me fill you in on the day. All right, so let me fill you in on the day. Um, today, uh, I had a photo shoot, and I was the kind of behind-the-scenes photographer for uh, a rather large Japanese company by the name of Yamaha. I can't tell you what I was shooting for them yet, but I believe the video will be out in a couple weeks, so I will uh, let you guys know at that point. Um, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Some of the uh, kind of first big corporate shoots I've done in a while, so really, really cool. And I got to bring one of my uh, good friends in as a makeup artist because I didn't have anybody set yet. So it's, I think it's always important to um, you know kind of spread the wealth, so to speak. And if you have a chance to bring your friends into, into bigger and better gigs, do so. And uh, so that was, that was really kind of cool. Um, but really that kind of ate up my entire day. It was like, uh, I had an eight o'clock call there and I didn't get home till probably seven something and it was just kind of wiped out and just now dumping the, the footage in right now or the, or the, the stills in to take a look, see if I got anything good. I really, really hope I did. Um, but since, uh, that was like the entire day and I couldn't, uh, film while I was there because obviously it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, there's no NDA thing, but it's, you know, sort of implied like, hey, don't, don't, you know, don't put this up in line. Um, yeah, the, uh, the vlog is pretty much non-existent today, uh, sadly. Uh, however, I do have the rest of this week off, so I will be filming, uh, get some, doing some drone flying and a little more exciting stuff, uh, trying out some new little camera editing techniques I've been reading about. Um, oh, and speaking of camera stuff, uh, I am actually shooting this in a different app right now. Normally, I film all my uh, my cell phone blog footage with the uh, uh, Filmic Pro app, and this is the uh, ProCam app. Uh, there's a, uh, a filmmaker vlogger guy uh, by the name of Christian Mate Grab Grab, and he pointed out this app um, in like I think today actually he released a video today and. He was uh, looking at the filmic thing and, and kind of went with this uh, app. Um, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. And it's really, really cool. Um, a couple of the problems I have with the filmic app is one, it takes a really long time to start up. This one's a lot quicker. Uh, and I kind of feel like I'm always missing some stuff with the filmic. Um, if I get my damn cell phone just record natively at 24 uh, frames, I would just use that app. But as it, it records natively at 30, I like to shoot 24. Um, I'm always going for the filmic one. And the other thing is, um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to set your shutter speed in, uh, in filmic. Like, I mean, you, you can adjust it, but it's always kind of, it, it's like you give it like variables of where it can go and not like just set, like, no, I want it at, at 148th and don't change. You know, if I, I'll change the ISO, but leave the shutter speed at the shutter speed. And, um, this one has a little bit better of a layout. You can just go like you like right now. I'm looking at like ISO is variable, shutter speed is set, um, and I and I control the ISO, so it's not just jumping around. I can change the the, the white balance, whatever I want to do. I can adjust that and just leave it and not have it uh, adjust on me. Uh, also, it just saves right to the camera roll, so it's like one less step, one less thing to worry about. Uh, it's not saving a separate app where I have to go. Oh, I need to leave those things later on. Um, there's only one spot, which is kind of handy. Um, so we'll see how this looks overall. If I like the footage later on, this might be like the, the way forward. I still have it on, uh, on the Osmo. Um, and so it's working fine. There is kind of one little weirdness though, is that with the Filmic, uh, app, it, it flips your image when you're doing a selfie. So this wall here is over my left shoulder. Right now, as I'm looking at it, it looks like I'm looking over my right shoulder. Um, like, I'm seeing a mirror image, so it's it's right for mirror image. But if you're used to, like, watching video footage of yourself, you know, things are, like, the correct perspective. When I play this thing back, I, try, I tried this testing earlier, it plays fine. But it's a little weird when I'm filming, just because I'm used to, at this point, looking at footage from the camera perspective and not looking at a mirror perspective. Um, but that's, that's a pretty like minor quibble. Uh, everything else about it seems pretty cool. I'm, um, 
I did when I dump the footage in, see if it's actually true 24 or if it's 23, 9, 7, 8, 7, 6, whatever it is. Um, I would love to find a, uh iPhone app that would actually shoot at that frame rate as opposed to straight up 24 just because my Sony doesn't shoot at 24. It shoots at 23, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it makes things a little more cohesive if I'm, if I'm shooting both both cameras during the day where I can just, no, this is what it is, and not either have to uh, reinterpret, uh, which throws off my audio or changes pitch. I'd rather just have one frame rate for the entire day and all my stuff. I mean, my, my drone shoots at the, the drop frame um, frame rate, you know, like, so the fact that the iPhone doesn't is really, really annoying. And it's the only thing I have that doesn't shoot that way. Everything else I own shoots at 23 point, you know, nine, seven, whatever, or nine, eight. Um, Anyways, that's just my little gripe, whatever. Uh, just want to say, th uh, oh, um, before I forget, I had a couple uh, posts on my last uh, vlog. Um, I'll, I'll look at it later, or I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up. But uh, somebody had mentioned um, the YouTube uh, music for, uh, for, you know, uh, videos. Um, the one problem I have with doing that is that it, they're really common pieces. So it's like you really kind of hear the same stuff in everybody's pages. So I'm, I'm trying to be a little uh, more selective. Um, I think I am going to go with the uh, Epidemic Sound subscription. It's only 15 bucks a month. For some reason, I was thinking it was higher than that. Um, or maybe I was just having lofty uh, expectations of having this you know, stupidly high million-plus view YouTube channel and having to pay a lot of money. I think if I was actually that popular and had that kind of uh, subscribership, then I wouldn't really care about paying 50 bucks a month for, you know, music. I think it'd be pretty uh, well, good investment. Um, so I think I'm going to look at that. I, I looked through some of the songs today, and there was some pretty good material. Um, oh, my Osmo is totally drifting right now. Okay, well, whatever. Um Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to sign for that and uh, be able to pull out some material for, uh, for future videos. Because um, overall, this is only the best way to go. Although, a lot of the tracks are pretty short, and sometimes you want to have like a four or five minute song to edit to. And a lot of these are around two or less. But, you know, what can you do? Anyways, I'm going to uh, get this thing posted and crash because I had a pretty early uh, morning and I'm just wiped out. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with some more exciting, fun stuff, um, and not just me sitting on my couch, uh, slouching as I am, and uh, you know, talking to my phone. See you guys tomorrow.